that market, they post it online themselves. No, they don't. They do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They don't need this. Of course they do. I was, uh, for a period of time, uh, a professional singer. I could, uh, if things are going badly, burst into song. It might shock them into doing something. Summertime and the living is easy. Hi, my name is Dan Luxon and welcome to You Shoot Studios. I am here today looking for £50,000 for a 20% share in my business. We are unique. A product photography studio that doesn't need a photographer. Now, about a year ago, I came across a company called Style Shoot, and they make these extraordinary machines that you see beside me. These machines take high resolution, high quality product photography images and they deliver that in a matter of seconds, ready to upload online. Style shoots themselves sell only to high volume users and until I set up U-Shoot Studios last year, there was no way that small or medium sized companies could avail themselves of this extraordinary technology. U-Shoot Studios is based in Islington. We have 87, 88 as of today, existing clients, 40% of whom have already been back for seconds. We have a preferential relationship with Style Shoots, which puts us in the perfect position to corner the UK marketplace in the next 12 to 18 months. And I'm here today to look for a dragon, or dragons, who have the influence and the contact base to catapult this business forwards and roll out through the UK and beyond thereafter. I would very much like to ask Tika to come up and we'll see what the machines can do, if he's willing. So this is operated from an iPad, mm -hmm. which acts through an app, basically just as a remote control. And then we've got a live screen there. If we do it, you've got... We tend to do it, oh, most that. of these, this way round. Oh, right. Only okay. just because you've got the, the length, but yes. Oh. And so once you've got this, in whatever way you're happy to shoot it. Once it's turned blue, press the button. We've now got an indicative image, completely cut out, with no background at all. Shall I sit down now? Absolutely. So, um, that is the pitch, and uh, I'll take any questions. An exuberant pitch from Dan Luxon, who is seeking £50,000 in return for a 20% share of his product photography business. Dan may have resisted the temptation to burst into song, but even his speaking voice appears to have made an impression on Peter Jones. Dan, um, you're pretty loud. Thank you. You're very excitable. Mm -hmm. What is the business? The business is a, um, a string of photographic studios which is aimed at small, medium-sized businesses where they come in and use the machinery uh, on a frequent basis. And what I'm looking to do is scale that across the UK while I've got a first mover advantage to do so. But this product is already available. Yes. And you don't own it? No. But I do have a relationship with the manufacturer and a meeting next week for anybody who wants to be involved to organise exactly what our preferential relationship will be. You, anybody can do this. I could do this tomorrow. What's your turnover in the last 12 months? So we've only turned over 47,000 so far. Ah, so, OK. And what does that tell you about this business? What it tells me about this business, because the business will bring in £13,000 this month, is that the business is now turning itself, it is now breaking even and just moving into profit. And that is on the basis of the clients that I've got in this month and the pipeline of clients I've got coming back to me next month. With bookings increasing, it seems Dan's business is beginning to gain momentum. Having built his online company into a multi-million pound concern, Nick Jenkins 
is keen to understand the potential size of Dan's market. How many companies have you identified who need to display these items online? Let's talk about fashion because I could it could yeah. be anybody really. Um, in fashion, there's I suppose about forty six thousand um, mainly independent retailers. Okay, uh, what do you think each of these, on average, these companies has a potential to spend? Um, Fifteen hundred pounds. Fifteen hundred pounds. Okay, so you're looking at sort of potentially a sixty seventy million pound um, yeah, spend never get on all, but yeah. on photography by these types of companies. So that's that's the size of the opportunity that we've identified. Uh, then, then, of course, there's a problem with geographic spread, so you, you could probably cover quite a lot from London, but you'd need, a, you'd need a network of these studios around. We do have people coming down from, we have people in Exeter, in York, in Northumberland. Uh, we do have people, once they get it and they see the benefits of doing it, they'll tend to send product along the way and then come on the train. So, so your better bet would be two or three of these, Manchester, Birmingham, London, within re regional centres, people would drive in, exactly. photograph their stuff, okay. Food for thought, as Dan highlights the existence of a rich seam of potential custom. But is it a picture which fashion tycoon Tuka Suleiman will recognise? I agree with you, there's a big demand for this. I could give you, and we have about two to three hundred new shirts a week. Yes. Every week. Yes. So if you, if you charge me ten pounds each, what does that come to? Two thousand pounds. Absolutely. Per week. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Because. I'm sure you'll take it. At the end of the day, if I came to you and yes. saw that machine and I liked it, I'd say, well, I'll buy my own because I'm, I'm big enough. I'm not aiming in any way at yourself. I'm aiming at the other 98% who are out there who are trading and have to trade online now. They have no choice and they can't just take snaps because they don't look good. They can't compete. And so what I'm doing is giving those people the opportunity to use the technology that you will buy. I think your model confuses me. Okay. It's just not clear. I think you, you become a big PR for the machine, but you haven't got a business yet. Mm -hmm. On that basis, I can't invest in you, so I'm out. A major blow as the dragon who's a big player in fashion, the very industry Dan's appealing to, turns his back on a deal. Will Peter Jones, who has his own chain of high street camera stores, share the opinion that Dan's business lacks focus? I'm very confused here because the larger companies and the organisations, they outsource this type of work and it is readily available. So your market is the mass market, small online eBay reseller. And that market, they just literally take a snap photograph mm -hmm. and they post it online themselves. No, they don't. They do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They don't need this. Of course they do. Peter, I'm sorry. Let me try again. What, the majority of my clients have been doing exactly what you're saying. That's why they come to me. They come there because it's a pain in the ass to do that sort of photography. It takes time. It takes a lot of time. You don't get consistency. I don't believe that there is even a business here. For people that want to do this type of thing, they set it on white paper mm -hmm. on the floor. Mm -hmm. It costs them a pound for the paper. Mm -hmm. And they take a high-res picture, which is uploaded to their camera. And that's the reason why I'm not going to invest and say that I'm out. A snappy exchange which ends with the photography entrepreneur losing his second dragon. Will Deborah Meaden or Sarah Willingham see any more merit in the service he's offering? I actually think there is a massive need for this in small businesses. But I don't think you've solved that need. I really don't at all. You're just based in Islington and me and Stoke I'm not going to get in the back of my lorry and drive all my kit down to take the photos. I'm either going to do it myself or I'm going to get a local photographer who actually is really, really good value. He'll come and take it. Yeah, for that reason, I, I can't invest in it. I'm afraid I'm out. Four dragons have walked away from the deal, 
each citing a different reason for their failure to invest. E-commerce pioneer Nick Jenkins is now Dan's best and indeed only hope of securing the £50,000 his expansion plans demand. I do appreciate the value of good photography and good lighting when it comes to selling something online. Um, it, you spend a lot of money on a website, you spend a lot of money on, on uh, creating a business, and, and photography can sometimes really let that down. And so I, I totally get the product. But there's nothing that you're offering um, that's exceptional. So I'm afraid for that reason, I can't invest, I'm out. Thank good you. luck, Dan. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. So, professional singer turned product photographer Dan must leave the den empty handed. His close up encounter with the dragons having left him a little flat. It's, it's a bit of a pounding you can take out there. Uh, but we will persevere and move on. <laughs>